Sunshine Television and Motoring Today's main man Mr. Ray Bush Gamboa sat with the president of Toyota Motor Philippines, Mr. Satoru Suzuki, to discuss the latest from the car brand. According to Mr. Suzuki, 2018 was a difficult year for the company as it faced challenges because of the newly implemented automotive excise tax program then. However, the president said that the company continues to thrive this 2019. First of all, let me introduce to you here. The gentleman I'm with, he is one of the busiest Japanese executives in the Philippines now. Well, what else can you expect for being the head of the top automotive company in the country that has been leading or getting what they call the triple crown, which means top in commercial vehicle sales, top in total and passenger vehicle sales. As they say, it's hard to go up, but it's harder to stay up. So he's one of the busiest Japanese executives in the Philippines. What can you say to that, sir? <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. And also, very happy to see you again. Uh, so you, you look uh, getting better and better. And so Thank you. Uh, happy now. Anyway, sir, how do you find 2019? as far as the automotive industry is concerned? Yeah, uh, last year we had a very difficult time because of the automotive excise tax increase together with the other economic factors like inflation or interest rate hike. So our market last year was so low compared to our original expectations or the performance up to the year 2017. But uh, this year, showing the some recovery from January up to July. Actually, this current pace of the market is on our plan, originally established at the end of last year. So, so far, it's a good uh, sign we, we can see.